Dr. Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial <coughs> I'm going to share with you the shaft in series what will happen when shaft will be in series so this is a case of torsion right so in torsion in torsion we are having most important uh, equation and probably you wanted to know that equation right so that is t by j is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta by l well what is t torque j is polar moment of inertia tau is shear radius uh, sorry uh, shear stress r is radius g is modulus of rigidity theta is angle of twist and l is length of the shaft this is all about the terms and uh, this is the equation which equation we usually used 99.9% .9 times in this subject uh, almost everywhere almost every topic maybe directly or indirectly that's why I am putting concentration here in this equation so you have to remember this equation and of course you need to remember also related terms to these equations that's why you will not get confused in the examination so let's go for the topic which topic we are talking right now that is shaft in series so basically what happened if suppose that a shaft is here shaft 1 and shaft 2 right so we are having two shaft suppose that both the shaft having equal length l l right so that both the shaft of, of course in series so what happened in case of if shaft in series shaft in series then torque would be same that means if you will say this is shaft 1 and this is shaft 2 then shaft 1 torque is equal to shaft 2 torque this is for sure but the main thing is the where is the difference where is the main difference you can find out how we, I, mean, I mean what to do here then if torque is same what we can do here that is we have to find out total angular deformation or angular twist that is theta total we have to find out so theta total to get theta total from this series of shaft we have to find out theta for first shaft and then theta for second shaft that is theta 1 plus theta 2 get it now after doing this what we can do we have to go to this equation here what we can interrelate each other what things we can interrelate with each other that is this one and this one so from this equation what we can write t by j is equal to g theta by l get it i hope you are getting me right now right pay attention what right now i am talking about you are going to get this thing comfortably this is really simple now what exactly i am doing i am trying to find out what would be the value of theta if i will do cross multiplication or if i will do sim if i will simplify this equation this is simple right so theta is equal to tl by jg suppose that i am talking about equation i am talking about shaft 1 so theta 1 is equal to tl j1 i am sharing i am just considering here i am considering here that g is same for both the shaft therefore because uh, same material we are considering same material we are considering because you know modulus of rigidity is equal to shear stress by shear strength so if we are considering both the same and okay it's okay no problem then why i'm doing this because i wanted to make this equation sim I mean, simple for simple quite simple for you to understand that's why you can understand it quite easily okay now what you got here exactly if i will say for sharp to one this is this if then what would be the value what would be the value for sharp 2 that is theta 2 is equal to t l j 2 g this is for sharp 2 right now 
most important thing is here you need to remember the formula for polar moment of inertia if we have circular cross section if you can remember or you remember the formula of polar moment of inertia for circular section then the shaft in series shaft in parallel and all these things will become quite easier for you because most of the time we are going to take a case of circular cross section so you have to remember we usually get uh, numerical problems from here also later on i will discuss with you what type of numerical problem we can easily I and mean, we can get in this i have already shared couple of numerical problems related to gate and yes of course you can get some numerical problems too okay now uh, theta 1 is here theta 2 is here so what we can do theta total is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 then tl j1 g plus tl j2 g okay just we have put it the values of theta 1 and theta 2 here only therefore you got these now tl by g 1 by sorry 1 by j1 plus 1 j1 1 by j2 right now after then what we can do tlj 1 by j1 plus 1 by j2 now we know that what is j1 suppose that uh, the diameter of the first is capital d and diameter of the second is small d then you know the polar moment of inertia for circular cross section is pi by 32 d to the power 4 because the diameter for the shaft one is capital d i have already considered probably you have seen this before uh, what I, I have written right now okay now if we'll go to the next that is j2 is equal to pi by 32 into d to the power 4 so this is j1 and this is j2 j1 and j2 right so what we have to do right now just we need to put the values in this equation and then the simplify the equation we will get the answer easy right isn't it yes of course this is really quite easy man if you'll understand this now tl by g 1 by pi by 32 into d to the power 4 plus pi by 32 into d to the power 4 then tl by g it's 32 pi d to the power so pi should be common d to the power okay 32 can be also common so 1 by d to the power 4 by 1 by d to the power 4 so 32 tl pi z d power 4 d power 4 d to the power 4 plus small d to the power 4 so this is theta total if we have uh, any uh, any connection in series connection of shaft in series then th theta total is equal to we got the value here so this is the formula we have find out after the whole uh, simple derivation you can say right so the question i was talking about that which is most important and generally asked in the examination i must share with you in this video only well before going to tell you that thing just i wanted to know are you getting my point what exactly i wanted to make you understand because because see this topic is really simple if you will go through you know more circle or probably shear force bending moment diagram if you will not practice then probably you will get confused in those topics but here in case of torsion is quite simple it's simpler even it's simplest even in strength of material so don't get confused what you are getting just try to uh, understand then memorize it better way so that's why it will be quite easier quite understanding quite beneficial and quite useful for you for your future okay now what what exactly i was talking about i was talking about the relation between these two uh, these two formulas i mean this 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 one only so what is that relation i must share with you that is t by j is equal to tau by r tau means diameter by 2 you can say sorry r means diameter by 2 so basically this is what this is shear stress so in torsion i have seen most of the question they are asking find out maximum shear stress so for solid solid shaft solid shaft 
maximum shear stress is equal to 16 t pi d q if the diameter of the shaft is capital D. Just like the same what process I have used here, you can use the same process and you can find out the value of tau, I mean shear stress from this equation only. I hope you got some inside information about shaft in series in case of torsion. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.